Hello, welcome to Java Programming. In this video, we are going to see how to create a small application program in Java to add two numbers. So here we are using Eclipse IDE for creating this program. And here I have created one new package, this Java application package. In it, I created one class. So, in it, I am going to create one class. The name of the class is New Java class, and it is in uh, it is in the package Java applications. And here, the name of the class is sum sum of sum of two numbers sum of two numbers it's of public kind of class and we have a public static void main class here because it is an application program and that's it finish so now java created a class for us and it is under this package the name of the class is given the type of the class is public public class sum num of uh, sum of two numbers so here we are planning to do a program uh, with program to add two numbers and here is the place where we are going to do the code or this is the main method of this program from where the execution of the program code begins public static void main main is the name of the method and the public static void is the qualifier public in the sense this uh, main method the function or the method public is available to the public and static static in the sense there will be only one instance of this main even if many number of objects after this this class is being created main is the name and void is the return type so this main method is not going to return any value to the place where it is being called so that would uh, indicate that it is not going to return any value and you suppose any method uh, is returning some value either integer double float or whatever so we will be giving that data type here but this main is not going to return anything and main takes a string array of arguments or any number of arguments string array means it can be an array of string so array of string without having any uh, array limitations here given here that means we can have any number of arguments and args so args is variable so args 0 args 1 args 2 like that you can have any number of arguments but at present we are not going to use it so here in this program uh, our plan is to uh, add two numbers okay let the mm, program be like this we can have some numbers we can declare those numbers here double first number second number and the answer so we have two three variables first number second number and the answer so this first number and second number will be added and we have to save it in the third number so this is the declaration part of the program Declaration in the sense we are uh, instructing the Java compiler that we are going to use these kind of variables and this is the type, double type. So double type is having more storage capacity than that of integer type and it can have the decimal values as well. And here we can assign some values. I'm going to assign a value of 10 and uh, 40 for f num uh, first number and second number f num f num and second number s num and we we are going to calculate the answer we are going to find the answer here so the variable for answer is answer equal to f f num 
f num plus s num Let me move this variable. Okay. Let me move this variable to uh, the main method. So these variables are applicable on here. Answer equal to f num plus s num, and we can print it out for printing. Uh, for printing we have uh, the function that is system dot out dot print line and we have to print the answer system dot out dot print line answer so now the answer is calculated in the variable answer and we can print the answer so I suppose this is a simple and compact way of program to add two numbers these two numbers are uh, predefined by the programmer itself and this added value will be stored in a variable and it will be printed. Let us run and see the program. Yeah, we are getting the output 50. So if you want to give some string as well, it's possible. Uh, answer is and again I'm running it okay the answer is 50 so if you give 10 and 40 the program will add these two numbers and it is giving the output but the problem is in this one we have uh, given these values initially and the user is having no choice to supply his own values in the program so I suppose we can do for some modification for this program So uh, we can try how to we can see how to uh, read some values as well. If you are using system dot out dot print line, we can uh, print some uh, print some values in the same way. We can use uh, we can see how to how to read the values from the user. So here, let us see how to use scanner. Scanner is the input object, so uh, in input ca input class, and we can make a, an object of scanner. Um, let it be a C. The name of the class equal to new scanner. Scanner takes an argument, so because we are reading, then system dot in so we are create we are creating a scanner object here and this scanner object is initialized with the system dot in that means this st sc object will be having the functionality of reading from the uh, system dot in or reading the values from the keyboard so it is showing some error okay if you want to use this scanner we have to use we have to import import scanner or the supporting uh, import file so if you import java.util.scanner then the scanner object is familiar to this program uh, and okay the scanner object is ready now so now let us see how to read the values for reading the value we can give the user a message to system dot out dot print line enter the first number so that user will be getting an idea what to do so we can uh, start reading now f num first number equal to we are going to read the value and the reader the dread value is going to be stored here in first number first num equal to 
uh, our object sc scanner object dot uh, next there are different data types we are going to choose next double the reason is we are using double data type for this variable so f num equal to f num in f n u m okay f num equal to this value so we got it and similarly we can read the second value enter the second number enter the second number and here instead of first number we can use it second number equal to sc dot uh, next double ok so when we run the program user will get a message at the first number that time user can enter a value that value is going to be read with the help of sc what is sc sc is the scanner object the scanner object is created with the help of system dot in that means in is an uh, in is an object in the system class and it can be used to read input values from the console or from the keyboard so we are using sc dot next double so here the purpose is we are going to read a double data type value or a val or a value of double data type it uh, it's a bigger it's a bigger value than the of integer data type and it is having and it can have fractions decimal decimal points too so that value is taken and it is saved in fnum similarly the second message is going to user to enter the second number and that second number is being stored here in the second sno snum and finally we are adding these two values this we have seen already and finally we are printing the output that's it let us save the program run it enter the first number it's asking for the first number so i'm going to give the first number 20 now it is asking for the second number second number i am going to give 30 answer is 50 it's working fine so this is a simple program to add two numbers we have seen uh, this program by two methods the first method is by uh, giving the values for these two numbers uh, initially and this second method we are using uh, with the help of scanner object so that the user can enter his own number uh, for the calculation a user friendly kind of program so user can uh, use this program to calculate any uh, calculate the sum of any two numbers I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please try it by yourself in your editor, either a Eclipse editor or NetBeans IDE or any other uh, IDE you can use. You can uh, type this code, you can create the project. So one thing uh, you have to take care in Java that is the sum uh, of numbers. This is the name of our class and the class name and the file name should be the same and file name, name will be having the extension JAVA, JAVA. it is case sensitive too so we should uh, create the class and the file with the file name or you can uh, directly create the file in a um, text editor and you can compile it if you like to do so but if you use a IDE like Eclipse or NetBeans or any other IDE uh, which is having this kind of features editing highlighting the keywords strings indentation in the uh, indentation helper see this Kelly bracket is closed here so if you are using this kind of editor this editor will help you to find uh, many errors if you have some errors uh, it will help you to uh, help you for debugging the errors so try this program by yourself I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any doubt please feel free to write me my email is it underscore teacher one at yahoo dot com so hope you have enjoyed this one bye have a nice day